M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I'm playing around with WF View. So this, I've used this in the past. It's I normally actually use it on my ICOM 7300, but I thought, well, that would be interesting if I can use it on my 7100. So I'll put the link in the description, and these are the kind of images that you would get. If we go to images here, you would get on WF View, but unfortunately, with the 7100, as far as I can see, you can't actually get the scope, but you can get full control. So I'm going to show you my settings because we're, we're, we're connected to it now and, it, and it's it's working fine. So if I just let you know firstly that you have to connect the USB cable from the back of the 7100 um, into your PC and then you right click here, right click device manager and you will need to make sure you've got the driver installed. So I put a link in for the driver so look on the right here the, I'll put a link in for the driver just run that USB driver and you gonna you need to come up with silicon labs here and I'm using com 13 which it found automatically your number will be different but if it doesn't say USB to UART bridge then you 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 know you haven't installed the driver yet so you definitely need to do that but the USB cable is just a normal standard cable so let's look at my settings all I had to do is in the radio, I didn't change the bought the manual radio CIV address, but I will show you what it says. You just go set, go down to connectors, click connectors, then CIV, and mine is on 88H. But I actually haven't changed anything. I'll just show you my other settings while I'm here. Connector, connectors just says data mod USB. I think the rest I, have, I haven't changed anything. Now, just regarding the, up here I've got the board rate at 19200. All I did was in my COM ports here, I just right click my COM port, click properties, and then I go over to port settings, and then at 192200, you could change that, but I left mine there, and then I just match that up here. So connect over USB serial, you tick that little box there. We're in settings. Then over across, select the COM that we just looked at, which is 13, the board rate. I haven't touched server setup and the manual. I just put in number 88 there. And I think that's what I liked about it. It's really easy setup. I haven't touched any of the other uh, things here. It says here, waterfall theme and things like that. Well, as far as I can see, you can't get the waterfall working with this radio. If you can, let me know, because of course that would be so much better. So if we go back to view and straight away it connected very quickly and remember using WF view does open up the possibilities where you can go into settings and configure it with other things like FTA and other connection types. I'm not an expert. So we'll just show you to change the band. Now we cannot, we, if you look at the radio you can see now it's already changed and I just click my mouse on the VFO here and I'm going up and down. You can hear it there and then the noise is coming out of the actual radio. So you can see it's working great and if I want to, I can TX, um, there are selections in the settings uh, but for now let's just show you that we can change modes. So we'll go like that, we'll go to LSB and you can see there the radio has changed to LSB. Uh, we've got the different tone steps here, so we're on 100 kilohertz, so we change it to 1, and then scroll down, and that's going to bring us, yeah, as you can see, up and down with the mouse, I'm just scrolling with the mouse. Uh, we've got filter locks here, I haven't touched that at all, at the moment I've got my scope on the screen, let's just come out of that. We've got RET. Yeah, that's coming up on screen and we can change that with this little dial. We can actually turn the radio off, so power off. Let's try that again. It did do it just now. I'm not sure why it decided not to. Power on and power off. But just now it did actually... Oh, here is it. Oh, sorry, I'm blind. As it comes up with a little dialog box here, as you can see, and you can move that again and you can just go yes power off. So you are, and then to power it on, power on. 
I mean, it's convenient. If you're sat at your PC and you want some extra control it's, it, without having to reach over to the radio, I think it's very convenient. And it's free. Receive a filter. We can change the filters. Let's do that to number one. That's changing. We can change the RF, AF, squelch. You know, all those kind of settings. I haven't done that. TX, mic gain. Yeah, I can see things are moving on the radio. RF gain. Yeah, that's definitely moving. Not sure what Len is. What's Len? Oh, that one doesn't seem to be moving. But anyway, you've got that. You've got tune if you've got a tuner connected, which we haven't. Enable ATU, but there's no tuner in the radio. Uh, what else? Preamp. Preamp 1. Let's put that on. Yep, I've seen that appear. Attenuate error, and then uh, you could select antennas. I'm not sure how. Maybe on a different radio. Repeater, what does that do? Oh, it allows you to select. Let's just put this on. I want to make sure you can see all this. So, with repeater, you've got plus and minus, duplex, auto, transmit tones. You know, you can set the tone and everything. That's, you know, that's, it's got to be good, hasn't it? Tune. So have a go in it and then band you can go here click band you can change bands watch the radio change and it does go into TX by the way if I go transmit it goes into TX now microphone wise let's just show you the band there's the band segment what's this band stack never use that so you've got band stack selections um, let's have a look you can type in the frequency so you go seven one, I've got to put the dot in, I suppose. Go back, 7.100, and then click Enter. Yeah, that's changed. So that's under Frequency. Now you've got STO, is that Store? Don't actually know what that is, and RCL. Uh, settings. Now, what I think is interesting with this is that you do get the option to select different inputs and outputs. You go down here at the bottom, but it is showing it in the area under where it says connect over LAN. So I'm not sure if it does actually work. Um, anyway, you've got these selections here, and it is showing my microphone that I'm actually talking into now, which is my studio microphone H2N. So that's another one. You can exit the program there. Now, up here at the top, I'm just showing you that you've also got. Modulation input. I've got mic, but you know, if you're using digital mode, and it even says ACC, is that to do with your um, amplifier? And then data mod input again, mic, USB, ACC. So you've got all these options, and it's this is what I say it's free. Thanks very much to the WFU team. Uh, it's a free program, and if you can get the scope working, why not? But to me, it's a very easy way to connect. So 73, thanks for watching my channel and please remember to subscribe and like if you find this interesting and all you need is a micro USB cable. Bye for now, 73.